Hello friends, welcome back. So now let's talk about the W uh, useful packages. So in a useful packages, I will talk about two commands. First is the profile command. So profile command is quickly uh, helpful to quickly identify what's low with the WordPress. So that plugin you remember, I have I have installed a zip file. I have already added one of the code there, which uh, uh, no like uh, manually I have created a bug which increased the page load time. Now we will see how this command have help helpful. I have already installed this command. So, uh, but in this session, I will not show about it, but you can find out using the WP package install or many uh, ways. There are many ways to install the, uh, this uh, the external command, uh, custom command. So let's talk about, uh, see how we, we can use it. Like a WP profile stage, it will show you the results uh, based on the stage environment. So let me show you with the practical. So I will just go to the term. I will run the profile and stage and just enter. Um, it will take some, yeah, we have. I think the due to the late um, many font size are there. So output is not looking good, but let me just, uh, let me know if it's not too much visible, maybe. Now it's visible. Um, can can you just confirm in the chat uh, if it's visible or not? It, uh, else I will like just increase the font size. Uh, the sort of font size. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Thank you for confirming. Yeah. So when you run this WP profile stage command, it will give you the stage uh, bootstrap main query and the template. So there are the three stages available in the WordPress, and it will tell you the time. So which stage uh, taking more time? So bootstrap means. Loading, uh, loading the WordPress core base, uh, loading up the plugins and the themes, and uh, set up in your accents and filters everything which are which is came to the bootstrap. Main query is based on based on the request of what data data we need to uh, the WordPress need to fetch from the database, which is the main query which we call like a, a global WP query, right? So that uh, main query, how much time main query is taking, and the template template stage is like. Once the data is fetched from the database, now WordPress will use the template available based on the request. It will identify the template, whether it's an archive template or the single page template, right? Yeah, or or means like home page. Okay, so that template stage, how much time it's taking? But if you see here in the bootstrap, it's taking the five seconds. Okay, it's a five second. Now, apart from this stage, now we need to dig further. Like why the bootstrap uh, taking so much time? So I will just pass uh, the bootstrap. Maybe I hope it's not a wrong command. Uh, I hope I hope it's not a wrong. Oh yeah, it's not wrong. Yeah. So if I pass the uh, argument bootstrap, then it will tell me the hooks uh, used or executed uh, during the bootstrap command. Okay. So now we can see the time, time, time here. It's a five seconds here. And what is taking after the init hook? In it hook, it's taking so much time. Now another uh, command is the WP profile hook, and then we can just pass the that in it hook. We identify the in it hook is taking five seconds. Now we need to dig in further. So I will just pass WP profile uh, hook and then in it. Then it will uh, it will tell you about in it uh, about in it uh, hook. How much time in it hook? Uh, what are the functions have been registered in it hook? And what are the functions each and every functions taking how much time? So from here, uh, you can see here uh, total callback function name, the location where and how much time it's taking. And there are many bunch of other uh, arguments are there, but you will read, you will check more about on the on a GitHub readme. You can you can find out. So this is like function closer. They have used some of the functions name here, but here we don't have the five seconds time, five seconds time, five, five seconds. And here, here is the five second time. Now it's called a time slip function taking five seconds. And where this function is located is the WP couch con plugin on a, uh, on a 25th line. So let's go to the WP couch con file here. Yeah, here yeah. it's a 25. It's a time slip function and it's adding the sleep five. So I know this is the, how I have set up this uh, bug, but to, to demonstrate, but similarly, the profile command is very helpful uh, 
uh, very helpful in this case, right? So time slip command. So let me just deactivate this admin. So it won't the time slip com uh, function will not execute. And then let's again run this uh, WP profile stage. Now you can see that uh, boot, uh, the bootstrap time is taking one second. Still one second is too much, uh, too much. So we, you can like further, you can say what are the other functions have been executed or, or the hooks executed on a bootstrap state. And you can identify the, uh, the time, uh, how much time it's taking by any functions. And this way you can identify the slowness of, the, of your WordPress site. And uh, when you don't pass the hyphen hyphen URL, then it will take uh, the, it, uh, the this uh, command profile command will consider about the uh, the home page. But if you let's say sometimes only some pages, maybe like archive page or or single page or any custom page templates taking more time, then just pass that uh, uh, URL to the hyphen hyphen URL here. So uh, let me just wp couchcon dot taste or maybe like sample page or or sample page template something like that if you have developed any custom page or something like that so what we'll do is that uh, what a profile command will do this whatever the function executed for this particular page it will give you the profiler uh, this uh, output for the profiler for this particular page only so you can also identify the slowness of particular pages as well uh, using this hyphen hyphen URL parameter, which is the global parameter available in the WordPress, right? So this is about uh, the profile stage, and I hope uh, you explore this profile command uh, after this session, and you really find a helpful. I have like I am using it, and it's really helpful for in the development as well to find what's slow to like how much time it's taking by the what functions. As we like, I give you a demonstrator of the slip command, right? So we can do this. Uh, so yeah, now let me just raise the font a bit, little bit. Yeah. So now let's move to the next command here. Uh, next command is a doctor command. So doctor command, it's like uh, diagnosis of problems within a WordPress by running a series of checks. So I will, we will see how, what are the checks uh, that this command provide, how we can helpful. And uh, you can, if you want to, have the check name then you can just run run, uh, run a command is wp doctor check and then uh, uh you can see now let me just show you the example so i will just run the doctor and then just list command now we have uh, this kind of check including the auto load option size so it means that if your uh, option stable and uh, uh, if you are a developer, you know that options table have the auto load uh, column which auto load. So whenever your request is uh, executed, any request, either it's a home page or any any page request, WordPress will download all of this option which had auto load equal to yes. And if it exists a exists a threshold of 900 KB, then definitely your site will become the slow. Definitely your site will become the slow. So you can use this check just to identify. Whether your option size, auto load option size is less than 900 KB or not. So I will just uh, copy this command from here and I will just uh, doctor check and then add the name. Since it's a phrase site, so it will say that 5.45 KB is less than the threshold. So my uh, current site is has the uh, auto load options uh, or size is like 5.44 KB, right? So this way you can identify then auto load options is also one of the reason for the slowness of your site, right? So if your site is uh, like very slow, then you also check this uh, auto load option size check and it will definitely help you. I remember that uh, uh, one of the sites I came across where the auto light, so, uh, auto light uh, sorry, auto load size option is more than 3 MB. Now you think like it's uh, the this doctor command suggests about the trace of 900 KP and then how the 3 MB data from the database will load. So definitely it will slow down your performance, uh, the WordPress site. So I have like check what are the like uh, uh, auto load size options are there. There are many because like if any client have uh, checked uh, the many teams of many teams, like many teams. So each and every team options have uh, team settings have the options, their own options. And there are a bunch of plugin options are there, which is like uh, orphan. Let's say if I install one of the plugin and, and uh, that plugin has stored many options in the database. And but then after that we have deleted option, right? Sorry, deleted plugin. Now your that 
plugin particular that plugin options is are like orphan it's there but it's uh, it's loading every time but there is no use of that so you can identify what are the options are there and then you can just delete it and keep it your threshold less than 910 kb some other uh, uh, checks are as well for core update a core a verify checksum this is very helpful let's say whether your wordpress core files is infected or not this comma uh, this check will help you so it will check the checksum with the wordpress.org core files and and it will check with your installed wordpress site and if any checksum is not met that means your wordpress file have been infected or maybe modified so you can identify what are the files is there and then you can just uh, re reinstall the wordpress or maybe you can just replace that file with the original file and you can remove the uh, infected file as well so this is the very uh, important check as well and there are many like plugin update available or not uh, theme update available or not so you can use this check and automate it and then uh, you can just run these various checks and give you the uh, report right so the anytime plugins update available you will get a notification but for that you need to do the custom uh, custom implementation using these commands but you can do that as well so doctor command is very helpful and definitely you need to try uh, on your on your wordpress sites and uh, one important is the, the cache flush so if if any your client using the object caching and uh, the wp cache flush function will flush all of the cache so i have came across and i have also on my uh, personal blog i have written about wp cache flush why you need to think twice to call this function uh, to flush the cache if you are flushing the cache on any hook whenever the wordpress uh, core functions uh, store the results in the cache this function will uh, remove it so this is also the like culprit in in the performance load so you uh, this will identify whether the cache flows uh, command uh, ex uh, are uh, used by any other third party plugins or team so that's also helpful yeah thanks for watching see you on the next one jai wordpress